Hi everyone and welcome back to our final 93 classic review here on Jurassic Collectibles. This is arguably the one I've been most excited for. This is the Track and Explore vehicle set. Interestingly, this set doesn't come with a human. I think this would have been a good opportunity to give us a classic style Sattler. Uh, but with that said, we get this awesome classic colour scheme vehicle, a little bit of capture equipment and a variant of the Scutosaurus. As you can see, we've got the classic Jurassic Park logo, the JP30, the elongated sort of horizon uh, for this particular packaging, the Jurassic Park logo on one side, a really fun dynamic look at the set on the back. You can see that the back can hold the capture equipment. We can lift up the cage that's over the top of the windscreen, hook the capture equipment to the side, reposition our capture turret and do lots of cool things. And then you can see the rest of the assortment as we have looked at them in the bottom corner. So a really, really cool collectible. Uh, really awesome to see this in the line. Very excited to look at this one. So we will just cut the Scutosaurus out first and foremost, as our dinosaur included just here. Excited to take a closer look at this guy in a moment, as he is bulky. Um, and then we will get our car out of the packaging. You can see it uses the usual twist and pull plastic system that Mattel uses for most sets like this. Just get those out. We should be good to free the car. There we go. And we just need to get out the other elements of the packaging quite nice and simply like so. So, there is our capture and explore or track and explore vehicle pack as you can see just there. Pretty pretty cool pack all things considered. Uh, what we will do is take a look at the Scutosaurus first and then we'll come on to the vehicle itself. So the Scutosaurus comes in this really awesome nostalgic orange colour scheme. You can see that the head sculpt just there looks absolutely fantastic. You've got lots of detail on this one. Do we have an opening jaw? I don't know. It looks like it could open, but maybe it's just really, really good sculpting. Uh, but yeah, we've got a cool head joint that pivots. We've got the legs that are on swivels, as you can see just there. And then the little tail at the back as well that does feel like it's on a joint but it doesn't want to move. Really love the colour scheme for this. The colour scheme is very classic, very nostalgic. Uh, so it looks very, very awesome indeed. We do get the little scan code in the top of this one as well, which is wonderful. And all in all, I really love this figure. You can see if I bring in Malcolm for a sense of scale, it's actually quite a beefy dinosaur to have included with a vehicle. Um, so I think it's really, really cool. So Scutosaurus, an awesome addition to the line. Uh, obviously we have seen versions of this animal before, but I believe this is a brand new sculpt and that is more reminiscent of the original Kenner line. I can't remember if this figure got released or if it was a prototype version for the Kenner line, uh, but it's awesome to actually have this in hand either way. And as you can see, all of the detail on it is fantastic. And then our vehicle, you can see we have plastic tags throughout holding everything together. If I just cut those, Just very gently get in there to cut that. Definitely not the easiest thing in the world to cut. We'll try from the outside. There we go. Okay, so, unfortunately right off the bat, something I've seen on a few of these, as you can see just there, we have a little bit of damage on the wing mirror. Um, unfortunately where these ship they sort of rub against the box um, and so that damage can occur. I don't know looking at that whether that is something I can just paint over. I might be able to draw over it quite easily. Uh, but it is unfortunate that this has been packaged in a way that it incurs damage. It is itself a really cool looking vehicle. 
You can see the deco there, that iconic Jurassic Park font looking really good. The black rims around the windows. Front on this looks absolutely awesome. You've got the roll bar from the Explorer. Interestingly, no track relay down here though, so they have made this its own powered vehicle. You can see the sort of Velociraptor on the hood alongside the patterning and this really cool grill that you can fold up if you want. So you could have it up like that. That's probably how it would drive or up like that. It makes sense to keep it down on the front of the vehicle like so, so it looks a lot more rugged, but that is a cool inclusion. We get the trims along the side. This is very, very much um, similar to the Explorer as we see it in the Legacy collection. You can see at the sides just there, I did actually just have to fold out that wing mirror, which is quite interesting. Wasn't expecting to have to do that, but there we go. Um, you can see again the sides, this flat yellow colour is really the base colour and then the purple's layered over the top. The layering looks quite good on the doors. The wheels feel a little bit plain, they could have maybe done with some more paintwork, but for what you're getting here they're not awful. The underside has got the spare wheel because this is a reuse of the Explorer body mostly. And then we have the back where we've got the Nublar license plate, the brake light stickers, and this really cool turret that can rotate as you can see there. It can actually, what I really like with it, if I do this quickly, is it can go to a higher elevation. So you can see just there, you can have this figure really high up on the back of the vehicle, or you could have them angled to one side on the vehicle. And I think that's really cool. I don't know, it doesn't feel like we can remove the turret. That is unfortunate. It would have been cool to be able to take it out and just have the vehicle without the turret if you wanted it. Sorry for the cut there guys, my camera died as I was in the middle of showing you the turret. Um, as I was saying, it's a shame you can't remove it. It does feel quite loose, but I've put a lot of pressure on it and it won't come out. Um, but overall, you know, the aesthetic of the vehicle does really need the turret to achieve what it's going for. We do have the little covered roof up here. Still have the lights from the Explorer, not painted this time around. Um, and then the vehicle itself has got a couple of features. So we get this little capture rope. Uh, which a figure can hold. It is quite large and the idea with this is you can either plug it into the side just here as like a piece of capture gear that's stored on the side of the vehicle. I personally think that looks really good. That's probably how I'll display it. Or you can clip it in to the back of the turret just there if you want to. I think that looks a little less great so I'm probably going to leave mine pegged into the side of the vehicle like that and I think that looks really cool and then the other feature of course is we can put a missile in the top just here and shoot it out and you do only get one missile so do be careful with that you know you don't want to lose that and then the last thing to really talk about is sitting figures in here and um, so because this is a reuse of the Ford Explorer it has got the opening doors you can see there the same great Explorer interior, pretty much. Um, I think that is the same interior. Yeah, it's got the screens and everything. And then if we were to take Malcolm again from the previous set, just pull his backpack off, see if we can get him inside. Or actually, we'll let Grant drive. We'll put Malcolm on the back. So Grant, as you can see, fits in there nicely. He's all sat down fits in there well and then if we take Grant we do or Malcolm even we do have peg holes on the back of the turret where we can just the peg holes I think are slightly too close together although you can use them and there you can see we have got Malcolm on the back of the packaging and the cool thing is you have a flatbed element here so you could store a bunch of the equipment that comes with these figures in there if you wanted to. Just put that back on there. Bring the Scootosaurus back in. 
And that really is the track and explore vehicle in a nutshell. A really, really cool set. It's a big shame about the paint rub on the wing mirror. Uh, I think if it didn't have that, this would be a pretty flawless set in my opinion. I really, really like what Mattel have done with the JP30 Classic line. I think it's such a cool nod to the original toy line. There's so much to love with this set and this vehicle particularly. Uh, the Scootosaurus is really, really awesome. Really love the look of this one right from off the bat and it doesn't disappoint having it in hand. And I think overall, if you're a collector of Jurassic, you're going to absolutely love this set. So that's my thoughts, guys. But as always, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of the track and explore set in the comments below. Make sure to like, favourite and subscribe. And until the next video, take care and have a great week.